Namaste, God's Goddesses and Emissaries of Light. This is Dr. Shreya Tayin. And if you are new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and do not forget to hit that notification bell so you can be updated on my latest and my current videos. Welcome, 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 everyone. Y'all see my new tattoo? Mm, it's not really a good angle right here, but um, I've been kissed by the rose on my neck. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this New Year's Eve read on the way for you. And it is juicy. Juicy, juicy, juicy. It's juicy. <laughs> All right. And as you can see, I was already shuffling. But I just want to make sure this reading right here. This reading right here. Here and now, I promise to love faithfully, faithfully. You guys, I still have like a little small uh, thing that I'm trying to get over. So ignore the cracking of my vocal cords because they're still healing. All right. First and foremost, let me go ahead and calling some help i got too excited that i started pulling mickey ficky cards mickey ficky cards before i got the prayer in oh shame on me all right you guys i call in there fire water earth spirit and ether and i also call upon the highest of the high which is Jodhivahe, who will be able to give me the information necessary for this beautiful reading in all directions time and space past present and future and so it is I I am so excited for you, Ashe. I am so excited for you. I am so excited for you. Some of you have been waiting and you've been pining away for your twin flame. Hoping, wishing, and praying that they awaken real soon. But I'm here to tell you that your ancestors are saying, Girl, you doing a good job. Girl, you doing a good job. You're doing such a great job. That the universe is saying, you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait for love. I don't want to be, be without you. I don't want to go. Aaliyah, y'all. All right, so first of all, first and foremost, in case you didn't know, now you know you are the empress. You are the empress. You're the prize. Okay, somebody is about to come in and they are about to take your beautiful ass off the market. If you want me, then you should have put a ring on it. That's all I'm hearing right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. And if you're wondering if this reading is for you, there are two. Let's do it this way. There are two crystals that I'm holding in my hand. If you pick this one, then this means the moonstone, the rainbow moonstone. That means this reading's for you. Back to the reading. So, your person has come from this relationship that they're connected to. Um, has put a lot of burden on them. They may have shared a lot of responsibilities with this person, house, cars, vehicles, and their names together. It seemed like now there's trouble in paradise. Please take what resonates. But this all had to happen because this person is going to come in and know how to love you properly. They're not going to be playing around when it comes to you. Matter of fact, they are going to be fighting for your love. Anybody that tries to get in the way, whoop, it's going to be a dead situation. It's going to be a dead situation. They are not going to be able to come in between you and your person because this is a divine love. This is your divine selection. This is a higher level soul mate. Okay? Bada boom, bada bing. There's a lot of transitionings and transformations that are going on in the collective right now. Like I said, you guys are leveling up. And girl, you doing a good job. Girl, you doing a good job. 
This is the reason why this is happening in the first place. Come on now. You thought that you wasn't going to get rewarded. You thought you was going to put in all this spiritual work, shadow work, doing all this inner child and inner wound healing and God was not going to elevate you. Oh, no. That is not the way that the cookie crumbles, baby. Because you are about to have a brand new beginning in love. Reminds me of that song by Keisha Cole. Never knew what I was missing until I found you. Okay, come on. No, you go. What am I gonna do? So empty my heart, my soul can't go on. Anyway. I just messed that song up. It's okay. You get my point. Pun intended. I'm just having fun, y'all, because some of y'all been feeling weak. I get so weak in the knees. I can hardly speak. I lose all control. Then something takes over me in the days. It is so amazing. It's not a phase. I want you to stay with me by my side. I swallow my pride. Your love is so sweet. It knocks me right off of my feet. Can't explain why your love it makes me weak. Come on now. Some of you guys have been trying to fight this feeling it's a strong feeling you guys know that something's coming but you don't know what it is i feel it coming i feel it coming baby you guys feel it and it's just like this nagging feeling that is just like really really agging you and agging you on all right king of swords up in this mother sucker okay communication is about to come in but it looks like this person is gonna i feel like when they come in they're gonna have to teach you how to set boundaries because the reason why you've had all these same events and these karmic loop de loops loop de loop 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 de loop 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 de loop loop loops i swear i haven't been drinking um, <clears throat> I am high off of spirituality, to be quite honest. I cleansed my aura with the Palo Santa, sprayed my dragon's blood spray, okay, um, on my hands before I touched the cards, and it's just the anointing, all right? Um, this person is going to teach you how to do this real quick. You see that lightning bolt coming from the throat chakra, it's not going to be no problem. Because they don't have them problems, I heard. They they good at cutting people off real quick. Um, this is the reason why this person is not going to come in with third-party energy. They are above all of that. They did not come here to play any games. You know? It reminds me of that song by Brandy and Chris Down. If you put it down right, maybe we can fall in love. Okay? They're coming to put it down. They're... Kicking ass and taking names. <laughs> they are serious. Like this person has had their fair share of conflict. They have had their fair share of shit storms mentally. Okay, if you know what I mean. They've had their fair share of being stabbed in the back by love. And they're not coming to do that. They are coming to kind of like lift you up. All right, to elevate you. I feel like you guys are going to elevate together. You're going to be the ultimate power couple. This is your higher level soulmate. Your higher level soulmate who, boom, who's the best tarot reader? Well, I'm being a tarot reader, bit Today, bitch, I'm a tarot reader. I'm your tarot reader today. And, you know, it's all in love that I say, bitch. I didn't say itch. Anyhow, back to the reading. They're coming out of this energy, yo. They're not coming in with the third party. That's the tag along, okay? No third will in your relationship dynamic, which is a beautiful thing, right? Because we get so much of that energy in the collective that everybody is over it, 
okay some of you i feel like you have gotten to the point where you have given up on love you're like fuck it it's not happening let me just go ahead and just you know get myself together mentally physically emotionally spiritually and every elite because every time i pour my love into someone else i'm not getting what i'm i'm not getting what i'm dishing out back in but you are the beautiful queen of wands. You're charismatic. You smell good. You you walk like a goddess. You carry yourself well. And you dress your ass off. Okay? You, when I'm telling you, on a normal basis, on a daily basis, people may underestimate you. But you clean up mighty well. Okay? And then, for some of you, this is just you on a daily. Just you are that chick. <clears throat> I don't like to say that bitch uh, or yeah back to where I was going you're that chick okay it's more classy we're classy over here in this piece this is something that definitely is um heavenly orchestrated a divine union a match made from heaven okay come on now you can be a match made from heaven this is a match made from heaven well, anything that God do and, you know, God blesses and have the anointing on. It's going to be good and good and good and good. And hold up. You got the masculine energy with the moon card. And you got the feminine energy with the sun. Brand new beginning. Someone's going to reveal their heart of hearts to you. You may already be in contact with this person. Please take what resonates. This is for you guys. If you chose that stone, that's the part of the reading that's for you. But the whole reading is ultimately for people that chose this. Okay. Mm. Now, if you did choose this stone, you don't already know this person. Okay. You don't. It's a new person. You might have a past life connection, obviously, together. But you don't know them in this incarnation. You got the five of wands. Some of you are going to have to change your mentality in the way that you're looking at love because this person cannot come in when you have an inner battle within yourself. It's time, as you can see, with the dragonflies on the card for a transformation of your own. Okay? So, some of you are going to have to go deeper than what you have been. Okay? Because some of you have been feeling trapped and stuck in love. Can't make this stuff up. All right. Um, some of you have had your hearts ripped out and your spine too. It's been almost like everything that you've been through in 2021, it didn't seem like it was a 12 month span. It felt more like to many of you, like a 36 month span, like it's been three years. In one year, because that is how much you have been through. I'm hearing from spirit. You have been through obstacle after obstacle. You have been through one bad experience after another, especially when it comes to the matters of the heart. There have been so many people that have been coming in and out. So many lovers that have been loving you. Everything is good at the beginning and then boom. It goes south real quick. And so they are telling you enough is enough. Enough is enough. It's time for stability with the Knight of Pentacles. It's time for you to have a partner that is willing to invest in you in every area of your life. Spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and most importantly, uh, spiritually and I really feel like this person is just ready to take a leap they're ready to just dive in it with you with the page of wands this person is very adventurous adventurous um, very fun very outgoing outspoken sometimes very fiery they could be an Aries Leo or Sag this person can also be a water sign please take what resonate if it is you then the fire sign the aries leo or sag is for you and if this is still you um the green avatrine for those of you that chose that card is going to definitely be a water sign and they are definitely going to be a scorpio 
period hands down no no confusion confusion or confusement about it god you guys this retrograde got me fucking tongue-tied all right be very careful that you guys are being your true authentic selves when you meet this person okay don't be scared to be who in the hell you are because at the end of the day the real you is going to come out boo anyway so you might as well just kind of step into this like hey see me love me this is who i am period this is who i be <laughs> i be me that's all i know how to be is me all right and your very last card is a lot of you have had so much responsibility laid on your shoulder that it is time for you to lift them wands up, get them irons out the fire, and give the motherfucking irons back to those that are pressuring you and making their problems your problems. The channeling, I, I do want to explain something to those of you that are new to my channel and don't know me. Channeling is called channeling for a reason. When your ancestors and your angels and your guides slide through, they say things the way that they want to say it. And it has nothing to do with my, my vernacular, has nothing to do with my grammar, has nothing to do with me. This is me channeling for you and how your ancestors want to come through. So I am an open vessel. I I just feel like I'm a real rounded person. I said that was your last card. But ooh baby. Because this New Year's Eve. I got to give you a bonus. I got to give you a bonus baby. It wouldn't be me if I didn't do that. Okay. So. With the Knight of Cups. This is going to come through so ding dang gone fast. They are going to come in so fast and they are going to mind fuck you, but in a good way. Um, for those of you that are sapiosexual like me, hello, fellow sapiens. Um, <laughs> you guys are really going to love being loved this way. This person is going to love you to the core of your very existence, to your very being. They are going to take out the time to learn you because they are going to study you. And they are going to sip slowly from your cup because air signs are slow <laughs> when it comes to, you know, how they move. All right. But when this person move, oh, baby, you're going to love it. You're going to love when they finally come in and give you that offer of true love. Because out with the old and in with the new, baby, make room for this person. Open up your heart. Open up your heart. Stop having regrets over those old lessons and old relationships. They done already passed. There's nothing you can do about it. What is done is done. Finito. Finish. Okay? You are the empress. Act like one. Do your very best to not think about or go into the negative when there is something that may look a little let's say suspect or familiar because you are creating your own storylines you guys that's how powerful you are you can make a man that has been the biggest gigolo and hoe for the last 20 years a faithful married man to just you and loving and wanting only you and only has eyes for you you can do that because that is your power that is how strong you are so don't think or don't go back to those thoughts that do not support your current vibration and what you're wanting to manifest. And what you want is happiness. What you want is happiness. And happiness is going to come through for you provided that you give yourself. And notice I said give yourself. This is very important. Give yourself a clean slate and a fresh start in love. I am done with your reading. I'm about to sign off, honey. I'm uh, not ready. Shoot, the church choir and the usher boards are going to come in after me and they're going to help you to adjust spiritually to the information that I just got from you uh, on this reading and the download. So 
I'm just joking. All right, you guys, I love you so much, really. You deserve this brand new beginning. Give yourself this chance. It's coming in, honey. There ain't nothing that's going to stop this love. Nothing. Because what is meant for you is meant for you. And that's it. There is no rebuttal. Okay? God said, period. After the end of a sentence, when you see a period, you don't continue on with the sentence. That means that sentence is complete. All right, you guys, it is a good karma to like, share, comment, subscribe, leave a love donation if you feel inclined to, or you can purchase a gift for my wish list on Amazon, and it will appear on the channel. I also have a book called Seeds of Abundance if you're looking to go into the 2022, being your spiritually rich, wealthy, prosperous self. I highly recommend it. I now wrap you and my love and i cloak you with the light of christ consciousness and so it is everyone namaste